Welcome to the ITU studio in Geneva, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Mr. Dominic Roskrut, who is the president of Statistics for Poland. Welcome to the studio. Welcome. I'd like to start off by talking a little bit about the current status of the ICT sector in Poland. Perhaps you could tell us what it's like, what it's looking like from a statistical point of view. That's an interesting question, especially for me, because be before I became the president of Statistics Poland, I was responsible as one of the directors for ICT statistics. So this is something very close to my heart. And the ICT sector is growing very quickly. It's very important. It's, uh, it's part of m most of the you know public policies as well at the moment. And what we observe that we, uh, you know, just... Uh, when we look at it, it's very hard to kind of like uh, separate it from the rest of the econo economy, but there are a lot of indicators that we can use to kind of like uh, uh, assess the, the size of this sector. And, and uh, especially what is important in, in case of Poland is very quick growth for the R&D that is being conducted by the ICT sector. That's one of these things that are very important for the future. We have very strong uh, industry related to gaming, you know, the game producers in Poland, and uh, they're growing very quickly. They started to import even the, the, the people from, from outside of Poland to work on the, on the new developments. So the, the, the sector is very important, and uh, we, uh, we see a lot of dynamics in the growth. Now, you mentioned you come from a statistical background. I wanted to ask you, what would you say are some of the challenges that you face in collecting data on the ICT sector? ICTs are ubiquitous, They're, so it means they are everywhere, you know, and it, it, some of these initiatives to try to kind of like a, a, a separate pure effect of ICTs in economy are destined to be uh, uh, to fail because uh, you know basically when we, we talk with the industry it, it turns out that the uh, ICT is everywhere you know, and in, in, in the most uh, remote uh, industries that you wouldn't even expect uh, ICTs play more and more important role and uh, even the counterfactual methods that are sometimes used by the econometricians when you try to distill like those who does some ICTs and those who doesn't use any ICTs. It's very hard to kind of like separate this uh, this uh, pure effect of ICTs. So this is one of the ma major uh, uh, measurement uh, challenges. Of course, uh, there are other challenges. ICTs are changing very quickly, and uh, and the, the the practice of statistical production is uh, it takes time. You know, and sometimes the indicators that we developed a few years ago are not any more interesting. Uh, at the same time, new 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 developments uh, surface, and we need time to adopt our statistical systems to, to react with the new indicators that also takes time. So additional limitation is that we have to harmonize that internationally, so we want to produce statistics that are uh, you know, comparable across the countries, but it, it puts another limitation on that, and it, it prolongs the time that we need to uh, um, uh, um, you know, take to, to prepare our response. So these are usual uh, 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 problems, and, and as far as we are discussing the ICT statistics, I think that we have to kind of like step back a little bit, think about the change in the paradigm. I mean, uh, probably we were always too much oriented towards technological indicators and, and, and related things rather than to uh, 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 processes related to societies and to economies, how, how this affects societies and how people change their behavior and attitudes. And, uh, and the same with the, with the, with the businesses, how, how does this affect, like on the micro level, not on the micro level, uh, the, 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 the way they convey their businesses. So n not, not tied down to a single technology now, but looking yeah. much more on a holistic sense. And prepare yourself to, to the future technologies that are not yet uh, you know, invented, but suddenly they will show up. And, uh, and, uh, and what then? You, know, you need to be prepared like in a more comprehensive framework. Now, of course, we're here at the World Telecommunication and ICT Indicators Symposium. I wanted to ask you, why is WTIS important? And, and what would you say will be the main takeaways from this year's symposium in terms of data collection? I think there are a lot of messages that are being conveyed in many, many meetings, but this, this particular one is very important because it really gathers like people from all around the world. And it's very important to know that, what, that you know, one of the important messages is that uh, we can use some non-traditional sources uh, uh, of, uh, of knowledge for development of new ICT statistics. And uh, uh, outside of the usual ICT uh, uh, 
uh, you know, uh, surveys in households and uh, and uh, in businesses. Like uh, I know, I, I would just point out to a time use survey that can be used also to kind of like see how is the behavior of the people changing when when the proliferation of ICTs is uh, is improving. Another thing is that we can use new data sources like big data and all these you know uh, recent technological advances, uh, smart statistics based on the sensor data that uh, uh, really you know provides us with the new tools of you know. Uh, producing more reliable, more uh, interesting, and more granular statistics. And the third thing is that we have to, of course, when we do all of that, we need to communicate statistics a little bit better than, than we used to uh, in, in the past. So that's why I'm always stressing the fact that we need to engage closely with the policymakers, but also with the other stakeholders like media and, uh, and, uh, and the researchers to kind of explain what we're doing and to try to you know, engage them into the co-creation process and so that at the end uh, they uh, use our statistics more and more. And I think that there is uh, one very important platform that, that happens to be here and, uh, and, and now, which is uh, SDGs. SDGs is, uh, uh, is something that I see as a statistician as a big opportunity to promote statistics and to show how important statistics are, not only in terms of ICDs, but in all other and all other IRES as well uh, related to leaving no one behind. So I think that there are the, the future is very interesting. Well, thank you very much for sharing some very interesting insights with us. And we look forward to catching up with you again in the future too. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.